the old nag. The old nag's greatest moment came one late July. The undertaker's horse went lame, and I was asked to supply. I agreed to do the job at a special fee. If the truth was known, I would reluctantly done it for free. I walked her down to the chapel of rest. If I say it myself, she really did look her best. And when we were going down the high street, she did look the part, pulling a posh black shiny hearse instead of a dirty old rag and bone man's cart. And outside the churchyard she stood there with grace. But what was unusual, the mourners all had a smile on their face. I knew she would be reluctant to leave that shiny black hearse. I told her, you still got your old cart, things could be a lot worse. Now she is going where she knows what really is the best, down to the knacker's yard for her everlasting long rest. I could not afford to pay for grazing and stabling for the rest of her days. Not to mention vet bills if things went bad ways. It is all to do with economics. The price of this and the price of that. I'm not the one to waste any money on income tax or on that. Not to mention what the knacker man gave me so much on the oof. I got the money in my pocket, that's good enough proof.